Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James. I do fountain pens and things like that. And today, yeah, that's that's what I got. A fountain pen, the Hongdian 660, a dark wood fountain pen with a really cool dark metal trim. We're going to take a close look at all of that and tell you what I think about the design of the pen, how the pen writes, and whether or not I think it's worth your time and your hard-earned money. But this is the Hongdian 660. We'll also take a look at the ink, which is a Birmingham Pen Company pitted nickel ink. And uh, I, I'll go ahead and give you a preview. I like the ink a lot. So let's uh, flip the camera and dive right into this review. Okay, so this is the Hongdian 660. Full disclosure, this pen was provided for review uh, by Easy Buy on Etsy. The uh, Hongdian 660 is a pen that is made of wood, and you have the choices between this ebony stained wood. I don't know the kind of wood it is, but an ebony stain, or they also have one that is in a sandalwood color. I uh, don't think it is sandalwood, but a sandalwood color. Both of them are quite good looking. I really like this darker version. I, I like the metal trim on it especially. Just a really good looking pen. Seems to be very well put together. Uh, let's look at, at the features of the pen. We'll start with uh, the uh, biggest here with the clip. Now, I don't know about all of them, but this one has a very stiff clip. Hear that? It is quite stiff, a little bit I, a little tighter than I like for putting in and out of a shirt pocket. That I don't know, that could just be this one pen or it may be all of them. I, that I, I don't know. I only have experience with this one pen. But it's definitely going to hold on. It's not going to shift around in your pocket or anything like that because it's it's hanging on for dear life. So uh, the, the clip definitely works. Just quite stiff. I do really like the design of it, the shape of that. I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool and I, I really do like this metal finish on the darker wood version of the pen. That also goes for, let me get this a little bit closer, this goes for the trim ring at the bottom of the cap that says LT, I'm not sure what that stands for, LT Hongdian and then 660, the model number on the back side. But that trim ring, as you can see, is really Nicely done. You know, that's sanded right there, nice and even. It curves toward the pen instead of just being a dead stop. I like that. Really, really nicely done. And, uh, you know, by comparison, this is the Jin Hao wooden pen, which I also, by the way, really do like. Uh, I've reviewed that already. But see, by comparison, the metal hardware on these two pens are uh, two different levels. Now, overall, really like that Jin Hao. I think it competes well with the Hongdian. But on trim work, I, I would give that to the Hong Dian. But I do like that pen. It's a bigger, as you can see, a much bigger pen. We'll see that more in the size comparison later on. Other than that, it is a typical cigar-shaped wooden pen. Looking a little bit closer at that wood, you can see, and this is a pretty dark stain. I don't know how this will come across later. Uh, but it, it is definitely a, a piece of wood and not just... Uh, some wood-like material. So that's real wood. Now, what kind of real wood? That I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Now, we'll open up the pen, and you will see, of course, more of that metal trim. It looks a little bit brighter here because of the lighting and ambient light from that table, uh, but this is a nice, darker uh, color of the metal, and it has this nice engraving on the trim ring. You can see that. Just a nice extra touch there as it goes into the grip section. And then this is uh, plastic and then another metal trim ring, plastic feed, and what seems to me to be the same set of nibs. This is a fine, but you can get the same fine, extra fine, and uh, food day nib uh, as you can get in the Hongdian Black Forest. I think if this isn't the same nib, and I'm about 99.9% .9 sure it is, uh, then it's certainly a very similar nib unit. So it has the Hongdian logo on the nib. It has the same scrolling and that same dark finish, 1997, engraved on there as well. So uh, that's the nib. Open it up, and you have 
a converter because Hongdian always includes a converter, and I do appreciate that, and they seem to be really good converters. I've never had one fail or give me any issues whatsoever, no leakage. Let's look for a second back at that cap. You do have plastic insert with the threads. I've not had any issues. I don't have good lighting uh, with me tonight or a flashlight nearby. I should have grabbed one, uh, but uh, no issues with the pen drying out whatsoever. It has been very reliable in that way. And speaking of reliable and drying out and all of that good stuff, let's now check out how the pen actually writes on paper. Okay, first I want to share with you this ink. This is Birmingham Pen Company's Pitted Nickel Ink, and it is part of their new line that came out several months ago uh, of crisp formula inks, and they're meant to have less issues with, fewer issues with uh, feathering and bleed through and things like that. Just make a nice crisp, hence the name, line. And so uh, I picked this and another one or two up back when they first introduced these. And I really do like this one. And I've had uh, great uh, writing with it from this fine nibbed pen. This is a swab that I did earlier and, uh, you know, just kind of writing, scribbling around with the pen. And and as you can see, it is a basically green ink. If I did a chromatography, it would pull out uh, black. Uh, so there is, and you can kind of see that a little bit here, that there is uh, some black uh, tone to it and some nice shading. And so uh, I, I like it. I like the ink and does well. Okay, so let's do a quick uh, check of how many times does the cap turn as the pin turns. One two, just over two. So just over two turns and then uh, it does post very easily, very securely uh, with that uh, plastic sleeve on the, uh, on the wooden pin. And this is just a nice smooth nib. I'm going to do it with a small d this time. I see it both ways as one word, as two words with the decapitalized. Uh, not real sure exactly which is the right standard. I see it every which way but loose. There's an old movie reference. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to be quiet and let you listen. A mm, couple of skips there. Sometimes that's me, but that wasn't that wasn't me that time. And I really had too many issues, but I, I might have talked too long, let it dry just a little bit. Uh, you don't get any flexibility. This is a hard steel uh, nib, but you do get a uh, a good enough wetness that you get some nice shading. You see, a little bit more to write with, and then I will sum up what I think about the pen. I really think the skipping may, I don't know, I'll let you decide. Uh, because I, I've had no trouble with this pen, I'm just going to scribble. Uh, keeping up, as you can see there, it just it just does. So I, I don't know what that's about. But All right, that. let's do that quick size comparison of the pens. So this is the Hongdian 660. This is that Jin Hao wooden pen, just a huge pen. Just to give you an idea, I have a Jin Hao 159 here, and this would be, I think, uh, the closest thing in size to the Jin Hao wooden pen that's in my collection, the 159 just a little bit longer. Uh, those are, are big pens. This is not a small pen, okay? Uh, but that that gives you some idea there. If you're looking for the larger one, you want to go with this Jin Hao. Otherwise, uh, if you want something that's a little bit uh, more, uh, not small, but not as giant, then, uh, you know, go with that Hong Dian. Another pen that is not wood, but is made to simulate wood is the Cedar Pen BBS, the 480. Love this pen. I love the resin. I love the shape of the pen. Of course, that's like a vintage Schaefer shape. Uh, but I just, I really, I really do like that pen. Uh, so I just, I have to put that in there because it's, it may not be wood, but it's, it's like wood. 
This is the Jinhao 51A. Now this is a less expensive option if you want an inexpensive pen that is made of wood. And uh, of course the, fi the fit and finish on this are good at its price point. It's about a third the price, a third the price of the Hongdian uh, 660. And I think you get what you're paying for with the Hongdian. You have nicer trim, nicer finish on the wood. And I, I like the clip better, I like the metal finish better. The section is a little bit nicer. When you get down to the nib, uh, the finish on the Hongdian is nicer, uh, but that Jinhao has a surprisingly good nib. It's the number five in this one. Uh, for the money. So if you just want to, if you just want to knock about wooden pen, you know, this, this is one of my favorites and uh, you can't beat that. I think I paid less than seven bucks for that pen and I've seen them cheaper than that. And then uh, this one's about 23. So there you go. Size wise, I think the Platinum Profante, uh, great pen, about $10 is uh, very, very similar in length, very different shape pen, not a lot there that would compare, but that kind of gives you an idea size-wise of the Hongdian 660. So what do I think as we close out on the Hongdian 660? I'm a big fan of this ebony color with this dark metal trim. I, I don't know how well that comes across, but that dark metal trim really is striking in person. The craftsmanship on the making of the pen is quite good. It seems very well put together. My experience overall has been very, whoops, I didn't screw that back on very well, uh, has been very positive. I had, had no issues except for that little bit of skipping that you saw uh, during the writing test. So, you know, if it's going to happen, at least it happened on camera. But other than that, I've had nothing. And I've written with this pen quite a bit, not on this paper. This is uh, the Daiso paper that's kind of reminiscent of Rhodia pad and actually uh, writes uh, very nicely, usually most pens do on that paper. So I don't know if that's the paper or what, uh, because I've written, as I said, pages of stuff and not had any of that. So it it, it could be could be uh, that I spoke too long with the the cap off, but who knows? I have a preacher that that could happen where I I, I talk I talk too long with the cap off the pen. It's it's happened before. Anyway, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you're staying safe with all of this Delta mess, and uh, I hope you're well. So God bless you. Have a great week. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all the great comments and the sharing of the video, and you have a great week.